A homegrown talent is offering Baltimore City youth a very unique opportunity. Former NFL player, Baltimore native Joel Gamble, is inspiring young people across the city while sharing his experience and his expertise with student athletes who hope to land a spot in the pros. And that's not all. Helping to shape the next generation of NFL players. You receiving the ball, coming, you pressing here, boom, and then you out. That's the goal of Joel Gamble. Go! Press, press, up! A Baltimore native who carved his own path to the NFL, a tight end who spent three seasons in the pros with the Eagles, the Browns, the Titans. Now he's returned home to his roots to help those whose lives parallel his own. I want to show them that people do care, people that are successful do care about them, that you can become successful growing up in this environment, in this area. One of Joel's many community outreach programs, his annual football day camp. Their kids in his community will learn the ropes that could one day lead them to the pro. Learning about the game itself and going through drills where they can learn uh, different positions, learn the football game itself. And then we'll also have the high school age group where it'll be a competitive, uh, competitive spirit. And Joel's commitment has inspired others to donate their time and resources from the likes of Zane Cypress and the Omega Baltimore Foundation. It shows the kids in this community that people who look like them, who come from them, can reach higher heights and will come back and give back to them. Go! And as for the student athlete, it's like a, a great opportunity to do some things I never did before and to work out with somebody that's like Joe. I want to show them what I can do. You know, give them my all. Both! It means a lot. I mean, I mean dedicated to his community. They want to come back and help people do the same thing that he did. I do want to go to college and play ball, but it really is my education. I just want to get a better education for myself, and if I could get it through paying sports, I believe it's the best chance. A chance that starts with opportunity and reward. Those are his campers under the lights on the biggest stage they've ever been on. Flag football at the halftime of a Ravens preseason game. A result of their believing in Gamble and Gamble believing in them. Joel Gamble joins us in studio now. Thanks for coming by, man. Thank you for having me. Always impressed to see video and pictures of the work that you're doing. One thing that imp impressed me the most, though, you decided to come back home, but not just come back to Baltimore, but live in the same house, the same neighborhood that you grew up in. Why was that important to you? Right. It's important because people need to see and, and have that tangible hope mm -hmm. uh, in the city, especially around this time where it's a lot of negativity going on in the city. Uh, people need to see and actually be able to touch and feel somebody that actually made it, has become successful, and is giving back to them. And then hopefully in turn, it also will cause that recycling effect and other people will give back as well. So more positive people need to actually reach back and help out in Baltimore City. You sent out a wave to get people to give back and join you. Uh, you've got an Under Armour to come along with you. Right, right. Some local, I think the Q's in the neighborhood came right. and helped you out, health department as well. Right. How did you sell this program and what do you think they jumped on with? I think the biggest thing is, is from the heart. Uh, the biggest thing is we've been doing the work uh, without any help. And so we were able to uh, go to companies like Under Armour mm -hmm. and actually say, hey, this is what we've been doing. We've been doing camps free of charge for kids. Mm -hmm. We've been doing student athlete programs. We've been doing give backs in the community for Christmas time and things of that nature. And so, hey, we would love for you to be a part. And they actually uh, took it on. And what they did is they donated gear for us. Right now we're doing a community impact cleanup. Uh, and whereas though uh, each youth team in the city, as well as high school teams are able to clean up their surrounding areas and actually receive Under Armour gear and I actually drop it off personally to the schools That's and right. to the youth team. That is all right. Another thing you do, the college visits. So you take it off the field right. to remind them that in order to get this ticket to the NFL, there's work that has to be done. What, what impressed them um, as they went to those colleges, do you think? I think it was, it was, you know, it was definitely experience. You know, a lot of these kids, people don't know that a lot of these kids don't leave their neighborhoods. Yeah. And so it's just experience for them to see that it's more than just the four corners of their neighborhood. Uh, one of the main reasons why I started the foundation itself is to get kids into college from out of Baltimore City. And so yeah. when I was in high school, I saw a lot of talent, a lot of guys, a lot of ladies that, you know, had the talent, 
had you know the, the smarts, the ability, but just didn't know the path to success. And so why I started the foundation is to get kids, more kids from the inner city into college and becoming successful. And it was great uh, that we got to visit Towson University. We got to visit Stevenson University mm -hmm. and they actually met the head coach at Stevenson. Nice. Uh, so it was a great opportunity and experience for the kids from the inner city. Got about 30 seconds left. When you talk about experience, you do a draft day. Now, yep. you don't just join the Joe Gamble <laughs> League. You get drafted to a team. You have the spotlights and the cheerleaders. That's got to mean something special to, to those kids. Right. We want it to be an experience for the kids, a positive experience, yeah. not just the league itself, but we want them. This is great for the kids. They get to go up on stage, receive their jerseys. Yeah. Parents could take pictures. The Baltimore Ravens did great with coming out. Uh, they actually had cheerleaders come out. The mascot came out. Yeah. And we did it at a local elementary school, Matthew A. Henson Elementary School in West Baltimore. And so it was a great opportunity experience for the kids leading up to uh, the Flag Football League. I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. Wishing you, you luck. We'll watch you as this all grows. Still ahead.